Hi guys, this is Prima Barton and today I'd like to show you a design that is mostly requested on Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day is fast approaching. So um, most of the people or the children will be requesting for um, designs that's like sweet and pretty and sparkly and in involves a lot of love. Okay, so my um, top requested design on Valentine's Day is um, the flamingo design okay so today I'm going to grab one of my um, global one stroke Cuba um, and I'm going to start painting and try not to yap too much okay so I got my one one inch flat brush and I'll just load it properly like that and grab a little bit of my black add to the tip okay and then I'm going to um, create this butterfly like strokes like that and same in the other side You guys are prob probably wondering why am I doing this? It's because when I do my designs, I like framing the face properly. Okay, and for me, this helps me do it. Um, and then I'm going to grab my half inch filbert, filbert brush. And again, I'm going to grab this color but picking up just the two colors here at the end, which is the magenta and a little bit of the white. Why am I using magenta while um, flamingos are actually pink? It's because um, I think the magenta stands out really well on really fair skin than the pink one. So it adds a little bit of contrast really. I just like it so here we go and then I'm going to do the guide on um, doing the perfect flamingo two flamingos it's just dab in the middle like that and here and then just one up there and here okay I'll show you why so I'll start where that dot is and then do a curve all right and the same with the other side okay and again you can always go back to it like what I did and then just swoop and down same thing on the other side, swoop and down. And then I'm going to add a little bit here just because I want to. When I'm on the job, I freestyle a lot. And this is one of the things that people just say, wow, wow, it's the same, like let's say it's the same unicorn but it's a different style unicorn which makes everyone unique and i think that way you enjoy your art far more better than creating the same exact design over and over okay and then i'm going to grab um my number Ooh, this was gone number three brown brush and I'm going to grab my black okay and then I'm going to do a teardrop pointing down and another teardrop pointing down it's like meeting is it's like painting a black lab heart really and then I will start outlining the head just like that and then I'm going to add a little bit of the jaw bit 
the same in the other side excuse if you can't see well I will try there you go I wish I have a um, photographer or like John Flies do with the Faber TV <laughs> in charge of all the videography and everything okay so there it is and then we're going to add a dot and another dot right there and to separate it and make it look girly just add one click on the other one okay see the difference that one is just a dot and the other one's got like a little bit of wing in it all right and then you can always just leave this bit like that or you can yeah. outline it but for me I leave it just like that okay so while the dots and the eyes are drying I will go on and start painting on the bottom here so I'm grabbing my trusted Le Cornell Flora brush number two okay and I'm grabbing white you can grab any lighter color than that you like you can even use the really light pink but I just like using the white instead and then I will double lock it and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the um, really dark like burgundy-ish color here I forget what it's called but it's one of those ones that came from um, global okay so what I'm doing here is I'm going to triple load this all right and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the black just a little bit on the tip and then start creating my petals three petals will do or sometimes you need to do more depending on the size of the face okay and then just to add a bit more oomph to it and because this is the girly bit here I'm going to begin painting some petals on the top as well okay now this part here can be left for some interesting details like let's say stars or little love hearts but because i don't have my stencils here with me it's on the other table i'm going to just go on and paint love hearts in there okay you can even add backgrounds to this one like let's say the sunset or even water type background excuse that noise that's my um frieza making its eyes all right so i'm going to go on and paint little love hearts doesn't have to be perfect okay that's the fun of painting um face painting see that and you can even go on and just paint oops they just lean my hand in there paint just like that and then again you add some glitter in it okay and then we are going to use more white just to add more detail you can stop on this bit now if you like but when you have enough time it's nice to make your design a little bit better okay or play with your design a bit more 
and then some here and right there just random dots you can even add like little starburst right there and some right here and there you go that's your design and then if you're going to use this design for a darker skin tone child it's nice to frame this bit with lighter color like let's say white or even neon yellow and you just go on and outline follow just just follow the lines on the side like this okay and that will stand out that design will stand out on the dark skin okay So there you go. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a joyful day. Bye. Thank you.